Deep in the forests of Southeast Asia lies one of the biggest religious complexes in the world. Angkor Wat's history can be traced back to the 12th century AD. It represents the golden age of the Khmer Empire and serves as a symbol of modern Cambodia. More than five million tourists visit it every year. Much of its allure comes from the entanglement of stone and statues with old tree roots. Its illusory charm embodies elements of Eastern philosophy and art. This massive and intricate complex is built of carved sandstone. No mortar or other adhesive was used. The stones are kept in place by their shape and sheer weight. But it's in the images carved into the stones that the art of Angkor Wat really shines. Complex scenes and vivid characters overlap to create a sense of depth and produce a masterpiece of world art. Angkor Wat was discovered by accident after lying forgotten for 400 years. The people who visit it today, while marveling at the site's mysterious beauty, can hardly fail to notice the damage caused by centuries of weathering. In 1993, UNESCO added Angkor Wat to the list of world heritage in danger. The ensuing restoration project brought together experts from across Asia. Indians restored Ta Prom Temple, Japanese Bayon Temple, Prasat Suo Prat and the North Libraries, and Chinese Chaosei Tabada and Ta Keo Temples. In total, 37 countries have participated in the restoration of Angkor Wat. The people of Cambodia today are eager to revive Angkor Wat's history. In the mid-20th century, the Apsara's dance was created, taking its inspiration from traditional Khmer dance and Angkor Wat itself. Many of its 4,500 movements imitate the actions of the carved figures at the temple. The smile of Angkor uses elements from modern dance to describe the history of Khmer civilization and tell classic tales from Hinduism. In this way, Khmer culture is being passed on and spread.